This contest is between, in the red corner, Daniel, Daniel Burrell in the gold and black, who's now on the ropes, and the attacking fighter in the, the white and black is Shane Hibbard. And Burrell now is in real trouble, he's taking big headshots. And referee Christian Evans is giving the count. Remember, this is three two minute rounds. That's a great start from Burrell. I mean, I was just about to say before the fight started that um, Burrell at the at the you know the height advantage and the reach advantage, but Hibbert's gone straight in, you know, put the pressure on, and it's working for him. You know, he's keeping that pressure on, punches and bunches. Um, you know, when uh, Burrell, Burrell, sorry, uh, looks in a bit of trouble, uh, a bit flustered by the, the speed and the attack from Hibbert. Uh, we just have to see if he settles in a little bit more, gets behind that job, starts using his reach and his height advantage to his best. Yeah, it seemed that uh, Hibbert just put his foot straight to the accelerator and just blitzed uh, Burrell in that, that first 30 seconds. Now, Burrell is actually calling Hibbert forwards now. He seems to be getting into the fight. He's letting his hands go. He landed a couple of shots there, a good one too, and a good solid left hand. Hibbert fires back with more clean shots. Burrell is, is turning, away, turning his face away and he's ducking his head down, which is a sign of inexperience. With your head ducked down, you can't see the punches coming. Yeah, exactly. You know, but you know, losing the, the, the advantage of that, um, that height and reach and the advantage of them nice uh, shots that he was long shots that he was throwing before, let Hibbert straight back into it. He's dropping them hands, he's Burrell. Um, you know, and shaking his head when he gets it, that's no good. What he needs to do, get the hands up tight, block the shots, or slip the shots. You know, because them, them shots, whether he likes it or not, are scoring punches. You know, when he's uh, he's letting Burrell, di uh, sorry, he's letting Hibbert, you know, dictate the pace. He's letting him back into the fight after coming back, you know, at the beginning of that second round. Round two of this contest between Daniel Burrell in the gold and black, or orange and black, and Shane Hibbard in the white and black. Hibbard had a very good first round. He gave uh, his opponent a standing count. I think Burrell would be well advised to stick that jab out as he's got a, a height advantage and a reach advantage. And he's actually got a very good jab as well when he throws it. He landed it well there. And again. Exactly. Yeah, he's got a cracking jab when he uses it. He just keeps popping it out. It's a good scoring punch, you know, followed by the right hand there. It just doesn't seem to be using his, you know, to, the, to his full advantage. He's letting Hibbert, he's, you know, he's letting Hibbert in the fight, keeping the pressure on. And that's better work now from Burrell, getting behind that jab. And again, he, he shakes his head when he takes a punch. I mean, me, me personally, I'd rather not take the punch in the first place. But, you know, sometimes that Spurs fight is on. And, uh, you know, obviously with Burrell, that sort of style that he has, you know, that might, you know, wake him up a little bit. Yeah, this is a much better round for Burrell. He landed a nice right uppercut there as well. He's standing a little square on at times, but this is effective, much better. Using his jab, the right uppercut. Hibbard momentarily looks towards the referee, which is a little bit of a sign of distress normally. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. Hibbard then just seems to lo be losing a little bit of, a bit of interest in what's going on. He's getting caught with left hand, right hand. Like you say, he looked to the referee, looked to his corner there. Uh, for a bit of help maybe I don't know he looked a bit uh, distressed comes back with a couple of more punches but there's Burrell again with a good, another good double jab and then just pops the right hand over again and Nibbit's on the back foot now looks a little bit in distress there needs to get himself together get back to putting the pressure on like he was doing at the beginning of uh, the end of the last round and the beginning of this round I think Hibbard seems it is more effective when he throws punches in bunches when he throws three or four shots I know some of his shots are a little bit wild a little bit wide but uh, Burrell doesn't seem to be able to handle those multiple shots. A good second round for Daniel Burrell. Third and final round between Daniel Burrell in the black and orange and Shane Hibbard in the black and white. We feel that it's uh, one round apiece. Hibbard had an excellent first round. Burrell came back well in the second round. And you can see now both these fighters are up to this. And Hibbard there, he, he, he's much more effective when he throws three or four punches at a time. Single shots don't seem to be able to work in for him. And uh, Burrell seems to get a little bit flustered when multiple shots come his direction. Yeah, I totally agree with you there again. It was, you know, Hibbard, when he puts them punches together, them punches and punches, it looks far more effective. 
you know, whereas Borel, when he puts the jab together, you know, pops that jab and the one-two, he looks far more effective. Um, you know, he started the round well, started it off confident, but he's just lulled back in again to, you know, letting um, Borel just pick away with that jab, you know, and, and scoring them point scoring uh, and punches. Yeah, I think if I was in Borel's corner, I'd just tell, his, tell their man to, to hold the centre of the ring and just stick his jab out and, and let Hibad come to him because he's, he's got the height, he's got the reach and he has got a very good jab when he uses it. But it uh, you know, inhibits the redness of, of Hibbit's face shows, you know, good testament to the good jab that uh, Burrell's got and the good straight punches that, you know, with the height and reach that he's using, you know, very reddened up, uh, uh, Hibbit's face very reddened up there and that's just purely from the, from the jab that Burrell's catching him with. The judges ringside are scoring this on a, a 10 point must system so the winner around gets 10 points that's a nice left hook from Hibbard and that's good and needs to keep the pressure on now as Burrell shows his inexperience again by turning his back but Burrell to his credit fires back well he he's gets his composure back and this is going to be a, a very close fight for the judges to score a nice uppercut and a nice left hook As the fight draws to its conclusion, I'm going to put you on the spot here, Robin. And um, <laughs> who do you think won this fight? I'm going to I'm going to go for for Burrell. He just nicked that last round for me. Just the cleaner punches, the jabs, the jabs. Uh, just did a little, you know, just did enough for me. I mean, we wouldn't be surprised if the judges give that last round, you know, that last round even, and we'd won one round apiece. Could we be looking at a draw?